Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Explorer. How to solve and find the value of this interesting square root math problem? That is, square root of 2 raised to power 6 raised to power 2 raised to power 1 raised to power 4 raised to power 4. Now, this is a very interesting square root math problem. This is because if we calculate this square root value, so it will give him such a number, means a number that will be 262,144. Now, how can we solve this problem? Now, to solve this problem, we have to remember a result. Now, that result is when we have a square root problem like this, square root of a raised to power b, raised to power c, raised to power d, and so on. So, here we will solve these powers from top to bottom. Now, here first we will solve this power c raised to power d. When it give him a number, so then we will solve b raised to power that number, and then last we will solve a raised to power that number. So with the same way here, we will first solve 4 raised to power 4. So here 4 raised to power 4 is a number. 4 raised to power 4 is a number. 4 raised to power 4 means we need to multiply 4 4 times. So multiplying 4 4 times, it will give him such a number which will be greater than 100 and less than 1000. So let us suppose this number is equal to k, which may be less than 1000 and greater than 100. So here we will replace this power to power 4 with k. No, so replacing this power to power 4 with k, this square root problem will become implies, now this will become square root of 2 raised to power 6 raised to power 2 raised to power 1 raised to power k. Now here we will try to find the value of 1 raised to power k. Now what is the value of 1 raised to power k? Now here the value of k is unknown. So the value of 1 raised to power k is if k is let us suppose 100 or k is 1000. So multiplying 1 any number of times it gives him always 1. So here 1 raised to power k is equal to 1. So here we will replace this 1 raised to power k with 1. So next this equation will become square root of 2 raised to power 6 raised to power 2. Now 1 raised to power k is simply 1. And here we will find 2 raised to power 1. Now 2 raised to power 1 is simply 2. This means that we, need, we have to write 2 1 time. So this is 2. So we will replace this number 2 raised to power 1 with 2. So this will become implies square root of 2 raised to power 6 raised to power 2. Now here we will find the value of 6 raised to power 2 or 6 square. So 6 raised to power 2 or 6 square is simply 6 times 6 which is equal to 36. So here we will replace this power 6 raised to power 2 with 36. So this will become square root of 2 raised to power 36. Now next here inside this square root number we will use a result. Now we know that square root of any exponential number a raised to power n can also be written as same number a raised to power n whole raised to power. We can replace this square root by power 1 over 2 or half fraction. So using this result here we can write this equation this number as implies this will become 2 raised to power 36 all raised to power 1 over 2. Now here again inside this number we will use an exponential math property. So here we will use this exponential math property a raised to power n all raised to power m can also be written as a raised to power n times m. Now, using this exponential property here, inside this number, here we multiply these two powers. So this will become 2 raised to power 36 times 1 over 2. So here we will simplify 36 with 2. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 18 is 36. So this will become 2 raised to power 18. Now next we can write this 18 as 2 raised to power 18 can be written as 9 times 2. Now here inside this number 2 raised to power 9 times 2 we will use another exponential math property. 
So here we will use this exponential math property. We can write r s to power m times n as r s to power m hold s to power m. Now using this exponential property here we will out the power 2 from 2 raised to power 9. So this will become implies 2 raised to power 9 whole raised to power 2. And here we will find w of 2 raised to power 9. Now multiplying 2 9 times it will give him 512 raised to the power 2. And next we can write this 512 as we will split this number to the sum of Two numbers so we can write this as 500 plus 12 whole square now here inside this number we will use a positive algebraic identity so here we will use this one identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times a b now using this identity here this is a 500 and this is b which is 12 so this equation will become implies this will become 500 square plus b square no b is 12 so this will become 12 square plus 2 times a b no a is 500 times b is 12 now let us find out these square values so this will become here 500 square is 5 square is 25 and there are two zeros so these zeros will become double so there will be four zeros so this will become 250,000 plus no 12 square is 144 no if you are a math student so you have you need to remember the values of squares of the numbers from 1 to 20 so 12 square is 144 plus no 2 times 500 is about 1000 now 12 times 1000 is 12 times 0 is 0, 12 times 0 is 0, 12 times 0 is 0 and 12 times 1 is 12. So this gives him 12,000. Now finally we will add these four numbers. So again we will start from the 1's position. First we will add the digits at 1's position, then 10's position, then 100's position and so on. So the digits at 1's positions are 0 plus 4 plus 0 is 4. No, the digits at 10 position are 0 plus 4 plus 0 is again 4. No, the digits at 100 position are 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1, comma. No, the digits at 1000 place is 2 plus 0 is 2. No, the digits at 10,000 place is 1 plus 5 is 6. No, the digits at 100,000 place is only 2. So, the sum of this three numbers gives him 262,144. So finally this is our answer and this is our value of this nice and interesting square root math problem. Now here as I told you in the start of the question that this square root problem will give him a number which will be like this. So the value of this square root problem is 262,144 which is like this number. Now in last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting math videos. Thanks for watching.